This conference is being recorded. Mike, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I was just starting the, the conference recording. Okay, perfect. Um, Derek's on the line. Okay. Hey, Derek. Hey, what's going on, Mike? All right. So, tell me about your involvement with this new reality show. Tell you my involvement, or don't tell you why that I, you know, trial board, or is that what you, is that the question? Well, what made you interested in uh, actually, you know, participating? Because I remember seeing the casting call a couple months ago. So I was like, you know, well, that sounds interesting. So, what kind of piqued your interest? Well, a few things had me interested. Um, one is that I model. Two is uh, that I rap. But the most important thing that really made me want to um, go on to it is the business part. I um, work with a lot of special needs and disabled kids, and I always wanted to start my own organization. So, you know, I'm young. I just graduated from high school, and I wanted to go out there for, you know, big dreams. Okay, so what kind of what kind of um, things do you um, – what, what is about 50 Cent that expi- you know, inspires you as a person? Because like, I've met him a couple of times, and he's always – like when I talk to him and stuff like that, he's like, I always find him to be like one of the he's, smartest rappers that I've ever met. Like, so what kind of, you know, what do you get out of his personality? Um, he's very driven and, and very focused. And, you know, at the same time, he knows, you know, it's, he knows a lot of business sense. You know, he knows how to be, you know, funny at one time. The next sense, he can be business. So, you know, he's a well-rounded person. And, I mean, he's a great person to be around, man. So then, um, talk to me a little bit about your um, nonprofit organization. I saw that you like helped raise uh, twenty five hundred dollars to send kids to Disney. So how did that um, all come about? Well, I, um, <clears throat> when I was in high school, I was a part of a program called uh, Best Buddies, which is a program for the, the special needs kids at our high school, in which we we buddy up with uh, the kids, almost like having a best friend almost. And we, I think we have like one of the largest. Uh, programs in the country actually for high school with special needs kids and I noticed that the kids weren't being paid attention to that much. I mean our high school is great at what they do but I mean as far as you know out of school doing things and being involved with the kids and you know letting them live a, a everyday life like we do you know as human beings that don't have disabled dis- or disabilities. So like one night I um, was just in my house and you know I thought about Disney World, and, you know, I came up with a, a plan to try to, you know, raise, like, some money to get a whole bunch of tickets to uh, take the kids to Disney World. So that's how that came to fight. And um, single-handedly, I went out and raised, like, over a little bit over $2,500 in my city to um, take them to Disney World. So now, uh, during your process with the show, will we get to see any of your, like, uh, you know, your, you know, philanthropic uh, savviness? You know, did you help? Yeah, you, you, have to, you have to watch. You have to watch. You have to watch. <laughs> Definitely. You know, you have to watch. Check it out. Okay, cool. Now, why should we watch? What makes this show so interesting than the other reality shows we see? You know, one thing I, I say that actually sets this apart from other shows is, you know, it's actually it's actually like street smarts, but you got to be book smart, too. You know, and that's the thing that I like about it. It gives a twist to it. So, you know, I think it's definitely going to be interesting to the people's eyes because, you know, it's not just the same old boring stuff. You know, you got to have both. You got to be intelligent and you got to be street smart. You got to be able to hustle. Okay, so explain to me what you, uh, the difference between street smart and book smart for you from your own personal experience. But... Um, probably street smart is, is being able to hustle, man, being able to go out Let's say if if you got a, items that you need to sell, you know, how would you be able to sell them on the street? Um, you know, how would you approach people at it? And being able to go after it, you know, book smart is, you know, being in the classroom, reading stuff, reading documents and, you know, stuff like that. Being able to hustle, you, that, that's, that's, you got to be able to do that in the streets. If you're going to sell something, you're going to, you know, persuade somebody to do something, that's hustle, you know what I mean? Okay, cool. So, so now, are you are you the youngest person on the show? Um, I am one of the youngest. Okay, so there's someone else eighteen. Mhm. Okay, cool. Um, uh, okay, because you can't tell me too much about the show can you, until it airs, right? Of course, of course. Okay, so let's see. Um. So, like, uh, overall, because I know the show is probably wrapped by now, like, what, like, tell me, like, one thing that you felt that you learned and have walked away with the whole, after the whole experience. Uh, 
probably um, one thing I would have to say is nothing is given to you. You got to work for everything that you want. Mm -hmm. That would probably be my my most. If I could tell anybody that, that would probably be, you know, nothing is handed to you. You got to be able to work for what you want. And I, I think I definitely get that from fifty because I think that's one of his things, man. You got to work for what you want. And um, so how was it like with the other cast members? Did you, like, was there a lot of camaraderie between you guys? Did you, like, so you, like, formed, like, a really long-lasting friendship that you'll, you know? Well, you know, Mike, I mean, there's, I have to say this, you know, there's different personalities and stuff in the house, so it's definitely going to be interesting. I mean, you have to watch it, man. It's going to be crazy because, you know, if you got a lot of different personalities in the house, you can get crazy. <laughs> yeah, I can see from some of the cast photos, uh, some of these people look looking pretty interesting. <laughs> um, final words that you would like to tell the fans out there, you know, to watch, to get up to watch the show on Thursday. Say that again? Do you have any final words for people out there to get them to watch the show on Thursday? Uh, your brain is hard for me to hear you because it's like you're breaking up. All right. Could you say that again? No, I was thinking, could you give us, like, your final words on why our audience should watch the show on Thursday? Oh, definitely. Um... Number one, it's a great show. Um, I'm on that show. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's not going to be boring. Uh, I'm excited about it. I've yet to see a reality show that's like it. And I think the people should watch it, man. It's going to be interesting, man. So check it out. Okay. And final question, any fights? Say that again? Any fights? You have to watch, man. You have to watch. I, I'm gonna get, I can't give it away, man. That's what takes the, the, the fun out of it. Okay. Remember, it's a lot of it's a lot of interesting characters on that so You know, you have to tune in and watch it, man. It's crazy. All right, cool, man. So thanks for your time, and I'll make sure to tell everyone to watch you guys on Thursday. All right, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, Mike. All right.